What up, what up, what up, what up? It's me, L Teddy 27. Good as night, dude. Right about the hood. Oh, dear God. I'm already eating a drink. Look at the damn mess. Just a damn mess. Please no. And yes, please no. What's good? What's up, people? What's up? It is me. I'm L Teddy 27, and I'm back. We're here for another review. This is going to be our review for Put a Ring on It. This is season one. It is episode five. As I almost wish. Waste my drink. It is entitled Family Matters. That would have been bad. That would not have been good. Mm. This is so good. Let me put this up here. Wait a minute. Oh, no. You're not going to act right over there. Why am I even telling y'all all this? I should probably edit this out, but I won't. Anyway, so let's delve right into put a ring on it, y'all. We start off where we left off where we were, we did not know how Michael and Shay were going to um, uh, go with their decisions on whether or not to have a second date. Come to find out, Michael said, yes, he wanted a second date with Whitney. And Shay then turned around and said, well, if you're taking a second date with Whitney, I will take a second date with Peyton. And she did. And everybody saw right through it. Everybody be like, really, you just really doing this just to try and make Michael jealous. And it was so obvious. It was just like, show. And he was jealous. He was. I mean, it worked. He was jealous. Dr. Nicole then tells the couple that this week she wants them to focus on family and have discuss serious discussions about family, surrounding family, with family members, about their relationships, and so forth. So, we also found out that only Michael, Shay, and Ashley will be going on dates this week. Tamika and Vince will not be going on dates, and neither will um, Hollywood. So, Michael and Shay... Um, they're at home and they're talking. We later find out that they do stay together. I don't know how you stand with somebody. You living with somebody and y'all only been together two years and this is after this person ghosted you, not once, but twice. Michael, you have questionable selection skills at best. Questionable. Anyway, um, oh, this shirt looks real wrinkly, y'all. Oh. Cool. Anyway, so, um, they talk about Zion moving in with them. She seems surprised that Michael told him, told her that he would choose his child over her. Like, she seemed like real, um, um, surprised. And then, in a backwards kind of way, she kind of alluded to, well, maybe after we get married, that'll make me want to be around Zion more or make her somehow okay with Zion moving in and living with them because marriage was going to magic magically make that happen. Like, it's a whole mess with them, too. Just a damn mess. Michael then goes, and we did see Michael goes on his second day with Whitney. He told her that they did cross a boundary, and he let that be known that when they exchanged numbers and were texting, that that's not something that they can be doing, and that they did cross a boundary. And he did kind of set those parameters and, you know, get, get that back together. Now, I will say that this date seemed real dangerous to me. I wrote down this is dangerous because there was a lot of chemistry. There was a lot of connections there. And I was like, mm. We then see Ashley goes on her date with the Charles guy. Now, once again, they got these people rolling up at these people's houses. Now, it went better this time than it has in the past. But still, that's a dangerous thing. Y'all got these people rolling up at these people's house like this. That's a recipe for disaster. Anyway, they had a little cute date. I like the whole... I'll say this about Ashley. Ashley is going out with some great guys who's taking her on some great first dates. And she be side swiping them each time and everything. I be like, Ashley, girl, you better than me, honey. You better than me. Because she going on some great first dates. And I'm like, girl, you, you playing with fire. You playing with fire. Anyway. She, um, they did this thing where they made, like, these potted plants or whatever. They had these, like, um, you know, made these, like, potted plants or whatever. And it was real cute or whatever. There was definitely some chemistry there. But I wrote down in my notes at the time, she ain't gonna, um, take another day. Because she never does. I don't know if it's because she's afraid of what Hollywood is going to think. Or she doesn't really want to allow herself to get to that place where she could actually find somebody who could treat her better than Hollywood. But... I wrote down, I don't care how good he is, she ain't going to choose him for a second date. And he was a cute guy. He was. He really was a cute guy. And I was like, yeah. But she was like, no, no, no. Anyway, we did see Tamika went to her parents to go see her parents to talk to her parent, her mom and dad about this. And we found out. And even her parents gave her some good advice. And they said, listen, you cannot try to compare me and 
um, our relationship as your parents with your relationship with Vince because y'all are two different people. Y'all have two different experiences and y'all are, y'all situation is different. It's not going to be what we have. That's just the reality of it. While they are okay with Vince, the um, dad did say that um, he'd have to really have a sit down talk with Vince before being okay with the two of them getting married. Or what nine? I don't blame the dad. I do not blame the dad. But ultimately, dad, it ain't your decision. It's you know, it it is her decision. But I mean, I understand as a dad. But you know, it's not your decision. I mean, that's really just symbolic. But it's just not your decision, dad. Anyway, we then see Shay go on her date with Peyton. Now Peyton picked her up at the house, and once again, the fuck, the foolishness, the fuckery. So let me talk about this date first of all. Peyton, bruh, bruh, what you got on, first of all, bruh, that um, Walmart special uh, polo shirt that you went and got, that you had buttoned all the way up to the top, with them little raggedy, with, I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to say the jeans were raggedy, but they was real like, and then he had on those all white, look like almost like all white Reebok classics or whatever, or all white Air, Air Forces. Air Force Ones or whatever, people still wear all white shoes like that. Like, bitch, you ain't gotta wear a joint if you just go wear tennis shoes and not wear actual shoes. If you just go do the little boy thing, like you still 18, 19, and 20 years old and come there with jeans, sneakers, and a little Walmart polo, you couldn't even put on some joints or something. I mean, God forbid you become a grown man, become an adult, and come there in an actual date outfit. You know, some slacks, a nice button-up shirt, maybe a blazer or something, and some actual shoes with hard bottoms. Girl, a mess. And then y'all at this spot where they serving y'all drinks in plastic cups. Girl, like the liquor store cups that they give you. know, when you go to the liquor store, to the corner, the liquor store in the hood, and you buy a, a fifth or something, and they give you those five little uh, plastic cups that they give you with it. That's what they was drinking out of. I do not frequent establishments where I go and get a drink and y'all not giving me a glass. Plastic. Girl, and she was just <laughs> Girl, you looking for anybody and any kind of trash in order that will say that say they'll marry you in order to marry. Not to say that Peyton is trash, because I ain't calling Peyton trash. But my point is she is gonna get a time of day update to anybody who will marry her. She is trash. Anyway. Then she exchanged numbers with Peyton. And we all know what that was about. We all know that that was just to get back at Michael. You are a horrible human being, Shay. You're never going to find real love at this at this rate. The rate you're going, you're going to end up with somebody that's going to dog you out and do you wrong. And then you're going to be complaining, oh, I didn't do anything wrong. Child, a mess. After that, I think Tamika and Vince started talking about something. I wasn't paying attention because... I don't really pay attention to their relationship that much. I'm just being honest. I don't be paying attention to Tamika and Vince because I don't be knowing what they be having going on. But they had a conversation about what the dad, what Tamika talked to her parents about. I don't know what was said. If y'all want to tell me in the comments what they talked about, y'all can't, but I don't remember. Then we back in the big house with um, Dr. Nicole. Now, Dr. Nicole, once again, she gives good advice all around. Y'all know we season for Dr. Nicole and Dr. Nicole did what Dr. Nicole does. She went to Vincent. I want to call that man Vincent. His, man, his name might just be Vincent, not Vincent. But she went to Vince and Tamika and she gave them some good advice. And she told Vince, you know, because Vince was like, I don't like when she do such and such. And I don't like when she asks questions about such and such. And Dr. Cole, Dr. Cole was like, no, no, boo. If she want to ask the question, let her ask the damn question. And you need to address it so y'all can move on. And I was like, mm. anyway, good advice was given all around. So, um, Dr. Nicole got to Shea and Michael and started talking about Shea and Michael's son. And this whore had the balls enough to say out her mouth to let slide out her gullet that if that man brought his son to Atlanta where he lives, that they should be and be so that his son won't be at the house with him. I had to pause the, 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 the show. I said, I know this whore did not just say that shit out of her mouth. You are, I said this last episode, but you have cemented your, your place in your role and who you are, Shay. You are trash. The worst kind of trash. For you to utter out of your mouth that this black man cannot have his own son in his house with him. 
and you want to marry him, you are the worst kind of trash. You are the worst kind of trash. The fact that that, first of all, for that notion or idea to even come in your head makes you the worst kind of trash. But it even worsens it for you to let that fly off your cum guzzling ass mouth, lips, that this man should go and get an Airbnb to spend time with his son? Girl, you are trash. You are the worst type of trash. You are a horrible human being. And Michael, you are trash as well. Because for you not to immediately, when that woman uttered those words out of her mouth, you should have immediately said, you know what, Dr. Nicole? It's been real. Fuck this show. Fuck all this shit. I don't play by my child. I don't play by my kids like that. Not about my son. And I'm not playing with you no more with this shit, Shay. Because the fact that you could say that shit out your mouth on camera, knowing that my son is probably going to see this at some point, is there's no coming back from that. I would immediately took off my mic. It's been real. Boom. You got a couple options. If my name is on the lease and her name is not on the lease, boom, I'm going to give you, I'm going to the courthouse tomorrow to serve you with some eviction papers because I need you out of my house because we're not going to be together no more. Get your affairs in order. We're not going to be together no more. There's no way you can let someone say that about your child and you continue to say, oh, I'm going to try to be with this person. Because your child is eventually going to see this and your child is going to see that you're over here negotiating with these type of people, coalescing with someone that would say something like that about that. Michael, the fact that you're even still entertaining having a relationship with her, knowing how she feels about your child makes you just as much trash as she is. Y'all are trash. How is how is that young man going to feel when he watches this on TV? Or when one of his friends brings this up to him on TV? Oh, you know your daddy was on TV. And you see what his little girlfriend had to say about you? Come on now. Trash. Shay admitted that she had got um, Peyton's number. And everybody in the room looked like, really, bitch? Really, bitch? Really? Like, everybody was like, really? You just really just going to do that just because? Um, Michael did it, so now you feel like tit for tat. You are trash. Sh tr we find out Shay and Ashley aren't going to have a, another date with the guys that they went out with. But in my mind, I said, Shay, even though you said, oh, I don't want to have a third date with this guy, I told y'all Ashley wasn't going to have a second date with that guy because we already know how this is going with Ashley. She trapped. She, there's no way for her to get out of this. I'm, I'm, there's no way for Ashley to get out of this situation. She's going to be with Hollywood. Hollywood, bruh, if you're watching this, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Ashley ain't going nowhere. She ain't choosing no other dude, and I don't care how good that dude is. You ain't got nothing to worry about, Hollywood. Anyway, in terms of Shay, you claim you don't want to go on a third date with this guy, but does it matter? You already have his number. Y'all exchange numbers. So you could very well be contacting this young man or decide to go on a date with this young man outside of the show since y'all already exchanged information. A fucking mess. Anyway, so right before we got to see what Michael was going to decide, the show goes off. And we don't find out. We won't find out until next week if Michael decides to go on the third date with Whitney or not. Listen, and that was the whole show. Listen, I don't know how much I can, much more I can stomach up Shay and Michael's relationship because at this point, Michael, I can't even blame Shay anymore. Now the onus and the blame is on you, Michael, for continuing to stay with a piece of trash like that. To continue to stay with somebody who told you to your face that basically she doesn't want you to have a real relationship with your child. And you're supposed to choose her over your child. The same whore who ghosted you twice. And you having this real back and forth about what to do and what to choose. I have no more to say. Anyway, I'll catch y'all next week. Until then, that's all I got for y'all. Thank y'all for coming. Y'all drive safe. We out.